All right, in this video, I just want to introduce you to you the concept of virtual currency. What do we mean by virtual currency? Virtual currency is used inside in a purchase service in your game. So you have to define something called currency. And in our case here, because we are using Sumla, we're just going to define something called virtual currency. This virtual currency is very similar to the coins in our in our app. So right now, the virtual currency here inside this app is called coins. So if you go to uh, the store here, you can see we got coins. So you can purchase coins as we saw in the previous demo. And also you can, uh, I don't want to purchase right now. So you can go also inside the game. You can play the game in order to increase the number of coins as you can see here. Also, uh, this is the virtual currency. Can you have more than one currency? Yes, you could have more than one currency. Let me just fold the screen here and show you a quick review of what we got here. So basically, the first thing we're talking about here is the currency. So the currency here in our case is coins. You can have more than one currency. What do we mean by item? Item is anything inside the game. So you can purchase, for example, coins. You can purchase lives. You can purchase certain items like we saw in the previous demo. You can change this image. You can uh, uh, purchase uh, you know, a new level. You can purchase shield. You can purchase uh, certain type of wearable products like t-shirt, like, uh, uh, I don't know, like you purchase a gun. You purchase a new sort of equipment. So these are considered as items. Also, these items, uh, we got additional things like something called coins back. So what do we mean by coins back? Coins back are items that you can purchase. So we have two types of purchase inside of in a purchase games. We have first type is called in a purchase with virtual money or the, with the virtual currency like here we can purchase items like you can see here I can purchase this t-shirt with 27 coins so I can purchase this item with virtual money or virtual currency and I can equip it also I can purchase items with money like you go for example here you can uh, you can buy items like let me just show you you can buy five lives back with uh, virtual currency so if you click here for example you but you want to buy this five lives back so you need to pay two hundred two dollar and ninety nine so you can click buy and buy five lives so this is additional uh, the other type of uh, you know ver other type of items that you can purchase with money. So we have two types. First type you can buy it with money like coins back, life back, uh, and, and the other type that you can purchase with virtual currency like you you want to purchase this music or you want to purchase this pencil and so forth. So these are the main things. That's why we got this diagram here. You can see we got currency, the virtual currency, and also we got purchasable items. And you can pr purchase them with uh, market. And we say purchase with market. I mean purchase with real money. And also you can purchase with virtual items. So this is the two types of purchase type or purchasable items. Also, if you go to the good, we got something called virtual good, which is anything that you can buy inside the game. So notice here we got two types of purchasable items. We got the first, the currency back, the currency back in the demo here, which basically uh, this one here, we, we call this uh, currency back. You can purchase them with real money. And also we got another type, which is the good or the virtual good. So like this character, all this product here, all these items in this uh, in this store items here are considered as virtual good, goods and goods. So you can purchase them using coins or using uh, what do we mean by uh, what we can what we can say uh, real money or uh, with market. So you can purchase with market and pay with real money or you can purchase with coins. And as you can see here, you can purchase any of these items with uh, coins. Also, if you can take a look here at the diagram, we got 
another many types of goods. We got, for example, uh, something called upgradable. We got single use. We got single use pack, and we got lifetime uh, good. And also we got equivable products, like you can see here. We got lifetime equivable. So what do we? What is the difference between this one and this one? When you purchase, for example, the no ads uh, virtual good, you cannot unequip it. Okay, but if you purchase an equipable, like if we go, for example, to let me just go to, for example, to this teacher. This teacher is an equipable product, so I can click buy here, and you can see I can equip it, and I can come to it again and say, and equip. So, but when you purchase this product, it's lifetime product, but you can equip it and in equip it, so it's equipable product. And this is really awesome. And this is the main difference between, for example, a lifetime equivable product and a lifetime non-equivable product like the no ads here. So we're just going to show you how to implement this because you can see here we've got the no ads uh, lifetime uh, virtual good, but you cannot come here and say unequip because it's a lifetime unequivable product. But if you go to this T-shirt, for example, you can say, equip you can see it's lifetime and also it's equipable you can equip it and you can unequip it as you can see here um yeah this is what do you mean by single use single use is uh, a, a, an item that you can purchase many time many uh, you can purchase it many times like the the life here you can uh, you know it's single use use it for a single time so you can have many uh, many items of this kind so for example I have an item here called ABC this item is a single use uh, a single use good or a single use virtual good so I can come here and for example buy one buy two buy as many as I want from this item the same thing uh, for the other items here including uh, the life product or the, the life uh, the life uh, product here so let me just go show you what what I mean by that so if I go for example here to life you can see you got 23 instance of this item of this single use item so you can click buy and you can notice here we got 30, 33 items from this uh, uh, life life item which is considered as a single use good also I got a single use pack like we, we have here we have five lives this is considered this is a single use but this is a single use pack so when you purchase this you're just gonna have an increment of uh, 33 uh, an increment of five so we got 38 life after you purchase this so these are the main uh, uh, product we got upgradable items so for example uh, you can you can have an item that is upgradable so you, we're just going to show you how to do that in code later on in the following videos. Uh, but this is just a quick demonstration of the, uh, the economy model that we have here in the, inside our uh, Mandaza project inside uh, Sumla. So we have uh, this diagram. So you can get this diagram if you go to economy. Uh, we got node sumla.la for slash unity for slash store for slash unity underscore model or you can go to uh know the sumla that la if we go sumla.com you can come here and you go to uh, developers and you can go knowledge base and from knowledge base go unity and here we got store and from store you can go to the economy model and uh, api which is in app purchase so yeah this is uh, pretty much the uh, 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 API we, we we mean by API which is application programmable interface but IAP is in-app purchase so you need to uh, be you know, familiar with these two terms API and IAP A, uh, we use IAP as in-app purchase like we use Sumla here and we use API which is a certain functions inside Sumla so this a thing inside another thing API is inside IAP as you can see here so you can read uh, the information here but we're just gonna cover them practically in the videos in the common videos uh, in this uh, lesson series so thank you guys again for watching all the time he's Ahmad Nasser from AhmadNasser.com see you in the next lesson